This is Mornings with Hilary Smale on ABC Kimberley. Now, she's no stranger to the Kimberley with an important part in the film adaptation of Brand New Day and also an advocate for the No Gas campaign. But Missy Higgins is, of course, a big name in music, both here in Australia and also overseas. She's been touring over the last 12 months to sold out crowds with her latest album, The Old Razzle Dazzle. But she's back now in Broome for a special performance at Sun Pictures next week with money going towards local charities. I'm very pleased to welcome Missy Higgins into the ABC Kimberley studio this morning. Hello, Missy. Hello. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Yeah. And you've got your guitar as well, which I is do. looking beautiful. Can you have a little strum just so we... Looking forward to that. <laughs> We're going to have a song a little bit later. But first, I want to ask you, next week, you're playing your first ever uh, show in Broome. I'm really, I was really surprised to hear that. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure why it's taken me so long. I think because Broome for me has always been this, this place that I... Um, that I escaped to really it's been this special kind of um, sanctuary for me and um, I didn't want to kind of mix business with you know pleasure but I but I don't know it kind of came to a point where I just thought this place means so much to me and the whole community has gone through so much over the past few years I've I've, I feel I feel like um, I don't know I feel a lot closer to the community I guess Mm -hmm. and um, my friends and I up here were kind of just talking about how fun it would be to do a show, and and so I, I'm I'm doing it with uh, my friend Will Thomas, who's been a long friend of mine up here, and um, it's going to be really fun. What are you most looking forward to? Um, I don't know. Well, I think playing the songs that I wrote about the Kimberley in the Kimberley is going to be pretty amazing, um, because so many of the songs from my second album, especially, I wrote up here and I wrote about my experience of of, of finding Broome and then and and falling in love with it and coming here and and just really needing it as a as a a place to hide and a place to feel myself again. Also, part of the proceeds of the event are going to go to local charities. Mm. You obviously, you know, you're a huge name. You sell out crowds overseas and in Australia. Why have you decided to, you know, be a part of a community event? What is essentially a community event? Well, I was supposed to come up here for um, the Alan Pigram's Mother's Day concert um, a few weeks ago and I got violently ill a couple of days before. I literally was trying to board the plane and they wouldn't let me because I was too sick. <laughs> Gee. Um, so I, I felt really bad about that and I was really excited about that being my first gig in Broome and, and Alan's a good friend of mine and um, it just felt sad to to have missed that opportunity so I thought it'd be really nice to to follow that up with my own gig instead and and um yeah have, have the proceeds go to the same charities as, as his concert. Another thing that you've been a part of over the last few years is the anti-gas movement mm-hmm. in Broome and, and the Kimberley uh, most recently the concert for the Kimberley which was held at Fremantle in February mm. what happens when uh, an artist such as Missy Higgins lends their name to that kind of cause that uh, cause that has got so much media attention over the last few years what happens to you personally um oh, that's a difficult question to answer um it it's an unusual thing because um getting involved in any sort of um act- political activism is um it's risky in a way because you're always going to polarize people because obviously not all of your fans agree with um, agree with you on on everything. So um, I had to I had to really make sure that it was something that I I believed in in my heart was right. Um, I I knew that it obviously wasn't a black and white issue, but I I knew what I I, I believed in, and um, being a part of the community in Broome for for so long, I really felt like this was. I was kind of helping my friends stand up for a, for a cause that we mutually believed in and, and, and it was to protect this place that we all find so special and is so dear to our hearts. So um, it, it felt it felt right and um, it was definitely difficult at times and a lot of us didn't know if it was ever going to actually come through but um, it feels amazing to have actually, um, you know, achieved a, a, vic- a victory. Was it worth it for you personally and as, as a musician? Was it worth it to oh, put yourself on the line there? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, the the this place has has been and been saved for at least a short amount of time now, in my opinion. So, um, anything that I did, as small as it may have been, to help was definitely worth it. Now you've brought your guitar in 
you have been warming up outside in the in the broom rain, which is quite unseasonal <laughs> for June. But I'd love to hear a song. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there in the Kimberley who would love to hear your voice uh, acoustically. Um, mm. Can you describe the yeah. song that you're going to play for us this morning? I'll play a song off my new album. This is a song called um, If I'm Honest. It's a, it's a, a little bit more of a country kind of song. Darling, if I'm honest, you've been on my mind, on my mind all day. Oh, and lately, if I'm honest, I can't bring myself to think no other way. I've been finding all kinds of reckless ways to forget your face. I'm going out on the town, throw it around All that love I kept for you But no one touches me like you Used to, it's a shame, but it's true Nobody loves me the way that you Darling, I've been moving through seas of faces, hoping to meet your stare, and dancing towards any stranger with your crazy eyes, away with golden hair. I've been finding all kinds of useless ways just to push it all down, like speed it around. Spinning around till I fall into the ground But no one touches me like you Used to, it's a shame but it's true Nobody loves me the way Missy Higgins, live on Kimberley Mornings. Thank you. No worries, thanks. And you said before <clears throat> that that's sort of a country, more of a country tune. Yeah, a little bit. My the, the new album is quite diverse stylistically. That that song actually, I in my head when I was writing it, I was writing it for Keith Urban. <laughs> <laughs> Why were and you I, writing a song for Keith Urban? Um, because he'd asked to do some songwriting with me years ago, but I wasn't. I in my in my head, I'd quit music because for a few years there, I just thought that I'd do something else with my life. So I said, um, thank you so much, but at the moment, I'm, I'm just not in that headspace. And then when I got back in that headspace, I, I thought, oh, oh, God, I missed a really good opportunity there. <laughs> so I'm going to write him a song and send him it. Um, but by the time I'd finished it, he'd already finished his album and didn't wasn't, wasn't up for listening to any new songs. And I quite... Liked it anyway. I got quite attached to it, so, so you I kept, kept it for it. yourself. <laughs> yeah, nice. And you've been touring in the U- U.S. Um, of late, and with Gautier as well. Mm. How is uh, performing for a U.S. audience different to here in Australia? Um, you feel quite exotic 
<laughs> on stage <laughs> and everything you say is just that little bit funnier, you know, because you've got this funny accent from the bottom of the world. Um, yeah, I do feel I do feel like it's quite different. I, I feel less intimidated by um, American audiences for some reason because... I guess it's it's less close to home. When I'm when I'm playing back home, I feel this this obligation to to really do my best and to really impress everyone. You right. Know? Yeah. Um, but it's it it's fun. I mean, playing for Gautier's audiences over there was massive. He's just the biggest thing since sliced bread over there at the moment. So, um, and I got to sing his famous song with him. The somebody that you used to know. I got Did to you do, do the Kimber's video part. clip. <laughs> we didn't do Dress the video up? clip. No. Moved. no. <laughs> but we did do a few kind of. Um, you know, moves on stage where we were kind of playing out the drama of the song with each other. It was fun though. I mean, the crowd just went absolutely crazy when that song came on every night. So that was a fun thing to be a part of. And is it similar when you come to the Kimberley? Is there, you were sort of saying before how you've, you know, had such a um, relationship to this place and mm. you feel at home, you feel comfortable here. Mm. Do you think it's going to be the same when you're performing at the Sun Pictures next week? You'll have, you'll be relaxed and... I don't know. I think I'll, I think I'll be a bit nervous. Actually, I'm already a bit nervous <laughs> yeah. just talking about it. Um, for some reason, because this is so intimate, this gig, um, they're the ones that they're the gigs that are the most nerve wracking, but ultimately have the most payoff as well. Because you, by the end of the gig, you've kind of formed this connection with the audience, which is quite close, and you've you've gone through a, a, a big journey with them. You know, it's like playing to friends in your living room or something. It's much more, much more personal, and there's much more at stake. Um, I don't know. That's probably over overanalyzing it a lot, but there's something about playing larger gigs where you get, there's a there's a um, a dis barrier dissociation. Mm. I think with the audience. So I, I, ultimately, I really I really love gigs this size because I love the intimacy that they have, um, and playing acoustic is really nice as well because there's again there's kind of there's there's less muck around the around the songs. Are you writing any songs about the Kimberley or about Broom at the moment? At the moment. No, I'm working on other things at the moment, um, but I'm sure that the Kimberley will make it make its way into my music again someday. You're also playing with um, Naomi Pigram. She's going to be opening mm. the event. Why did you pick her? Why did you ask her to be part of it? Um, well, I've I've actually never heard Naomi play before, but I've I've. I mean, I've listened to her, mm. her her albums, and I've heard a lot of really great things about her. And the you know, I I love the all of the pigrams. Um, they're good friends of mine, and and um, you know the connection to Alan and Stephen. And I thought it would be it would be really lovely to have her there. And and I hear that she's got a good fan base in Broome too. So I thought people would be pleased. For sure. Well, yeah. I, th- I think a few people are very much looking forward to the event and, and to having you back in the Kimberley. So mm. welcome back. I hope it goes well next Thank Friday. You. Thanks so much for coming in on no Kimberley worries. Mornings. Thanks for having me. That's Missy Higgins. She is playing at the Sun Pictures next Friday, the 14th of June. Also playing on the night is Broome local musician Naomi Pigram and net proceeds from the show will be donated to the Leukaemia Foundation, the Kyle Andrews Foundation and also the Royal Flying Doctor Service. 22 minutes past 11. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone